con su cantina La Martina. My name is Olga Renteria from Filatinos Radio. I'm Tina. I'm the manager here at Cantina La Martina. So we're going to have a little bit of a contest. Yes. We are going to bring out some dishes for you to try and see how much spice you can handle. The first dish we are going to try is our agua chile. Uh, de Joa Santa. Uh, Joa Santa is a very traditional herb in Mexico. It's a pepper leaf. So agua chile is a traditional way to, to make a dish with raw seafood that is actually cured in lime juice. Um, and then it comes with a lots of peppers. You're the first bite. First bite? Yeah. I eat it with the chips. So what's in here besides? So that's, that's raw shrimp cured with lime juice. Yes. All right, so this isn't even spicy yet though. Yeah. This is flavorful. Well, <laughs> oh, I Just think we're gonna need I love the lime, yeah. the lime juice adds it. Yeah. This is our favorite here. I think we're gonna get our second platter. This specifically is our Jamaica y Fresa ceviche yes. with scallops, watermelon, our sandia, and uh, avocado espuma. So the avocado espuma is like the creamy green. Yeah. Um, it's in a watermelon? It is in a watermelon. With a, a chamoy and tahini rim. With a watermelon? Yeah. Um, and then there's raw scallops and they're cured in mind juice as well. Mm -hmm. It's definitely slightly spicy. I don't know, that one has a that that one kick to it. That kick for sure. Yeah, the, first <laughs> one, the first one had some aftertaste. Not even Super, knowing. super artsy. It the pres like that. Is not enough to it? Yeah, the presentation is... is there's cucumbers in it to cut the spice, the watermelon cuts she, 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 the spice. Does it, does it cut the spice? <laughs> <laughs> Do you celebrate it all Cinco de Mayo? Yeah, there's always a Cinco de Mayo. Uh, there's party. always what? a Cinco de Mayo yeah. in, at any party. Why do you celebrate Cinco de Mayo? So Cinco de Mayo is not what everybody thinks it is. It's actually a celebration from a battle um, from the French army who tried to invade Mexico through Veracruz in Puebla. But the Puebla people um, battled together and they defeated the French army in one day on Cinco de Mayo. So how is this going, guys? It's, I, I, it's I, good. I'm, I'm it's good. good so far. I'm You're good? I'm doing a great Are you ready for our number three platter? Number three? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're here. Okay, oh. so we have the mango, habanero, camarones, salitas. That is beautiful. Yeah, you're artsy. Like, just like you can take a picture of it, you know? Yeah. It takes pride. If I'm on Instagram, if I'm posting on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta dink it and sink it? Six with the dink it and sink it. Dink it. What? Dink it. Ooh. Don't take my food. That's disgusting. Maybe a seven. Yeah. Think at the top where maybe most of the spices. Up here? Yeah. No, like underneath that. Oh, wow. Way. Wow. So that might be where the spice is at. Mm -hmm. I don't want to take the beautiful presentation away. I don't need the spice. I thought they did like an archie thing, you know? Like, no spice. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, it's got a nice little kick to it for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Presentation. Impeccable. And then um, comes with uh, chapulines, which are grasshoppers. Ah, yeah, no, that's a, that's a no go. I'm glad you didn't give us that one. I feel like you, you couldn't, you can't like taste it. Like, you, you wouldn't yeah, you wouldn't it. know unless you looked at it. You're telling me if I put a grasshopper in front of you, you'd just eat it straight. It was cooked? You'd eat it straight. Awesome. Some seasoning? Well, we have some if you'd like to try some. All uh, right, yeah, let's, let's put it up for you. Is that another challenge? No, let's do it. Wow. No, let's do it. It's up to you, guys. Two grasshoppers. Ooh, oh, hell no! Nah, nah, nah. Zoom in, zoom in. You can eat one. That's how it wasn't that bad. You're supposed to chew it. I did chew it. No. I'm still in my mouth. It's definitely salty. This is the light one? This is yeah, the, this, this is, is the, the this cleanser is... palette. It's a stuffed poblano pepper with ground beef and dried fruits. Um, and then it's coated in a creamy walnut sauce. And then it's topped with parsley, chopped walnuts, and pomegranate seeds to represent, represent the Mexican flag. Uh, oh, that's a shit. And it's typically uh, like served like room that. temperature as well. So that, that's really good. Yeah, that's like one like of our cool. favorites. And also, just to let you know, the recipes here that Chef Dionisio uses, they're all his own creations. Mm -hmm. Yes. How are you? Okay, how are you? The spicy part is on the sauce. The sauce. So you have, you have to dip the meat in, in the, the sauce. sauce. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's, right. that's like a challenge. Huh? We're gonna hold the oh water. Oh, what are thoughts? So good. Yes. And all comes. Spicy? <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Get out of the way from me, bro. Sweet, sour, at the same time, but the spicy comes to man. Yep, no. <coughs> oh, oh, that's so sad. So it oh, looks so calm and not spicy. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, this? Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my Chocolate God. cake with the tomatillo marmalade. Chocolate. And the white, no? That's the spice. The spice? And the white chocolate, the spicy white chocolate. Spicy white chocolate. Oh, it's, wow. That's that so good. good. Wow. Is that taking the, the spice? Yeah, that's helping. Yeah, it's helping for sure. This is so good. Who do you think won? Tie. I think it was a tie, man. They're both. Valiant, valiant effort. They're both winners.